how to use the ModX content management system to edit your Four Dimensions Training website. So this is your website and you're able to navigate through it using the standard navigation and sub navigation. Now in order to access this site you, you first have to scroll down to the bottom and click onto CMS. This gives you access to the content management system. Once in, log in with your username and password and you may want the system to remember you. If you ever lose your password, you can go to forgotten your login. So I'm going to log in. Once you're in, you get a view like this with all your pages on the left hand side and the ability to edit will be on the right hand side. Now, work in resources. For, for most things you should never need to go into elements or files. This is purely development. Um, I could have locked this down but I chose not to. So stick in resources for the time being. So to edit a page, quite simply, you can click the right arrow, the, the left arrow here to expand pages that are within other pages. Alternatively, um, you can just click on the page itself. So let's click on to home. So here you've got information for the home page. Now this dictates what content is on this page. Now you're, you'll notice there are, there are two main sections. Create and edit document, which are settings that every web page has. And then you've got template variables, which are settings specific to this particular page. So in this example, you're able to change the text that appears at the top here if you wanted to. You can change that here. Or you can change the content at the bottom of the page here. The, the crux of the matter is that there are content boxes that allow you to change the content of the page. Now your long title here, you've got a few various fields. Your long title is what Google sees. So we want this to be something relevant to your website and you'll notice that if we save it as that and then reload this page you'll see it appears in the top here which means the title of the page has now been set the menu title is how the page appears on menus at the moment it's home because there's no menu title set so it'll use a normal title but if we set this to something else and saved it, you'd notice that the menu title at the top here has now changed. But we can keep this to home. Very same interface for other pages. So if you go to the disk profiling page, for example, and then navigate to it via the main website, you'll see text on the page and you will see text on the page. Now I want to make you aware of how to edit this. Um, I mean there are standard controls. It's, it's better to type stuff in here than copy and paste it into Word because it will format it correctly. But there are certain template variables that will only appear on certain pages. So for example, this has the ability to specify what's, what's written up here and you write this in the head banner text. Um, you can change the head banner by clicking on this image here and selecting from something in the list. So if you wanted to change it to the fire safety one, you just click on it and click OK. That actually crashed. Oh, but let me do that again. So you click on it, click the fire safety, click OK, and then save. And now you'll notice that um, it's a fire safety image instead. But we want to change this back to the pictures of Joe. Another thing that is a call to action template variable here. So you can change what this does by selecting from this list. So at the moment it's disk related. But let's say we wanted it to show book this course. All you do is select book this course. It's just an additional level of customization that you're able to do, just in case 
um, the action that you want someone to do on a page is slightly different so let's change this back to disk workshop so those are the basics of editing pages now you might want to know how you actually go about adding new sections so fire safety has got pages within it now quite simply all you do is you right click on the sorts of page you want to copy so it might be fire safety level 2 and you duplicate it and you give it a name now you'll notice it's italic here which means it hasn't been published so if we refresh this page you will not see it on the website as of yet but if we publish it and save you'll notice that it is when we reload this page that it's now there in there but something that's interesting is that um, it's still got the same title as previously so you mustn't forget to change the menu title and the resource and the, uh, the, the title of the page here because it's got to be relevant to the content you don't want to have the, the wrong content there so now if we reload the page you'll see that the name is now correct and the title of the page is now also correct and you can go ahead and change any details that you want on this page after this now you might actually want to add a whole new section of package training called well whatever you want really so instead of copying a sub page you copy a parent page we give category but at the moment this has nothing in it so you want to add a page into it now to do that oh well, let's let's set the menu title first now to add a page within it you can literally either drag and drop a page so we could drag and drop name into category like that and then we go name now exists within this new category that we've created but we need to publish the resource another way to publish the resource is to right click on it and go to publish so now when we reload the page you'll notice you've got category with the sub page within it likewise you can uh, you can move categories around so if you want a category to be first in the list we can move it up and save make sure it's published yeah. so, so now that has that should now move yeah so category has now been moved um, and likewise if you want to delete a resource you just right click on it and you can delete the resource yes now it doesn't commit the delete straight away so if you were if you wanted to undo that you could right click and undelete but if you want to commit any changes to deletions that you've made you click this trash can icon and that deletes the item similarly to as you can organize items within the sub navigation you can also organize items within the main navigation phone call apologies you can also organize items within the main navigation so if we wanted this to appear in a different order all we do is drag and drop elements so let's say we wanted meet the team to be up here and we reload the page you'll notice that meet the team has now moved so let's move it back now meet the team works in the same way as, as um, package training in that there are sub pages within meet the team so if you want to add another team member all you do is you duplicate an existing team member call it a different name and then go in and edit the you've got the ability to specify a, a separate image for this particular person so if we set it to you for example and then give you the name Terry C Ooh, give you the name Terry C And when we reload the page, oh, we need to publish this resource first. So that's now published. When we reload the page, you'll now see that this person has been added here. 
um, and the, the title of the page needs changing to Terry C as well. And there we go, that's been added. And that's as, as easy as it is to edit team members, so let's delete this. And commit deletions. The final thing I want to mention is the alias. So if we go to public speaking, which is currently a new page without much content on, you'll notice the address bar the name of the page is public speaking. This is extremely important for your search engine performance and the resource alias field controls that. So you might want to put public speaking Birmingham if you're creating a custom a page that you wanted to appear particularly well for public speaking in Birmingham. So now if we go if we uh, go to a different page and then go back to public speaking again, you'll notice that public speaking Birmingham is now the URL field. And that is it. That has been a quick overview and I hope it's been helpful.